Hello, my name is Rems. I'm executive chef of Tupelo Restaurant here in Cambridge, Massachusetts. And today I am doing skillet fried chicken. All right, so um, for efficiency reasons, we have the chicken already uh, cut into eight pieces. And that was about a two and a half to three pound uh, broiler or roaster chicken that you can get at pretty much any market. Um, so I butchered him up um, and I need to season him uh, before I get it into the dredge. So we're going to start with the seasoning, which consists of salt, pepper, and garlic powder. And that will go straight onto the raw chicken. So we start doing that as evenly as possible. Okay, one down into the black pepper. We also want to season both sides. Uh, it's good cooking sense, and why would you not? And while I'm doing this, I can tell you that I have a cast iron skillet on the stove with about enough oil in it, canola, trans fat free. Uh, it's about halfway up, maybe a little bit less. Uh, here is my dredge, or here. Uh, this is 50% flour, all-purpose flour, and 50% uh, semolina. And I probably about to have a cup and a half of each mixed together. I've also seasoned this heavily. Um, I'll explain that in a minute. Uh, so it's salt and pepper. It's any kind of Cajun or Louisiana spice seasoning that you would like. Um, what else? Garlic powder, curry, again, and just a little bit of dry thyme. Um, so... I've used less seasoning on the chicken because it's a more uh, specific surface. This, I've, you know, dispersing the seasoning because there's more volume in, in this ingredient right here. Okay, so let's start. I'm going to move that chicken around in there. And um, we're going to slowly fry it about five, maybe seven to ten minutes aside, or until done. And uh, what we want to be careful about is that we, we have a thermometer today because we're going to take a temperature on the chicken, and we want that to read about 165 degrees. Now, how do we know if the oil is ready? Well, let's see, medium heat here. I can always take a little bit of dredge pop it into the oil. And if it does what it just did, fizzle, it's probably ready. But let's also get one piece of chicken in there to see how it's going to go. Good sound. Rain on the roof. Bacon frying. Or in this case, chicken frying. You like that? You hear it? It's wonderful. Okay. So I'm happy with this temperature now. I'm going to get about, say, three pieces in here. ones that are pretty much the same size for even cooking. And the other thing is you don't want to crowd a pan. Okay, so you're introducing an, uh, uh, an item here that's of a much different temperature than the oil, obviously. So if you overcrowd with cold items, you're going to bring the temperature of the oil down. You're going to end up steaming and it's be a mess. Okay. Just want to make sure these guys aren't sticking. And they're not, and that's good. We're coming back here to uh, begin flipping the chicken. It's been about seven to 10 minutes. Um, so we're gonna do that. Um, and then I just wanna talk quickly about temperature here. Um, another reason I like to take it to 165, especially when you're cooking for the public or other people, especially if they're young or old, their immune systems might not be, you know, like a, somebody in their 20s. And, you know, so you really want to make sure that you're, uh, you're handling chicken the right way and taking it to the proper temperature. Okay, so I flipped the initial four pieces that I started with. I've begun to fry the legs or the drumsticks. 
got these bigger guys that are going to take a while, and which seems kind of silly that I'm starting them last, but uh, they'll be done when they're done. Our chicken is, is basically there, um, and I'm going to start taking this chicken out. I've done an internal temperature of uh, 165, which is what we talked about being the proper chicken uh, temperature for chicken. Uh, so I'm going to just begin pulling these guys out and getting them onto this plate with some paper towels so that they drain that excess grease. Want a little grease, not too much grease. All right, so there's that. And as you can see here, you know, beautiful, deep golden, fried brown. These drumsticks are probably completely done. All right, so we've got all our fried chicken here. Um, we've got some stubborn pieces that are a little big. We're just going to leave them be. And now we're going to plate our skillet fried chicken and collard greens. Real simple setup here. So let's get our greens down first. A little bit of that liquid. Not too much but some. Okay, now let's get some chicken. Let's put this guy here. I don't know why I'm being so particular. Um, okay, here we go. And let's wipe our plate. Presentation. And there you go. Fried chicken, collard greens.